Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue our video series in dyno testing BL Heli 32's uh, settings and see what difference they make. I really wanted to know how what the difference uh, was made by changing the settings, like the impact of them, uh, particularly in my use case. Uh, there are plenty of videos with people having done this to propellers and at a constant speed, but I was particularly interested in how this affected spin-up times. So I made a dyno. So we're going to be looking at this. Uh, but before we do that, I think we should read the instructions and see what the manual says. The instructions say this. Motor timing can be set between approximately 1 degree and approximately 31 degrees in approximately 1 degree increments. Actual accurate values uh, uh, here are 15 sixteenths of a degree. Well, that was a lot of extra detail, right? <laughs> uh, typically, a medium setting will work fine, but if the motor stutters, it can be beneficial to increase timing. Some motors with high inductance can have a very long communication demag time. This can result in motor stop or stutter upon quick throttle increase, particularly when running at low RPM. S setting timing higher will allow more time for DMAG and often helps. This parameter can also be set to auto. In this case, the code monitors DMAG time and keeps timing as low as possible without having issues with DMAG. On well-behaved motors, timing can be low in the entire power range and thereby maximum power can be reduced. On not so well-behaved motors, timing is increased as needed and thereby improves margins against sync loss. So let's have a look at the dyno now. Okay, so there are two groups of numbers or, uh, or curves, if you like. Uh, we've got this set here and the set here. The difference between them is the weight of the wheel. This is a 27 gram weight and this is an 8 gram weight. Uh, I wanted to see how that affects timing. Uh, as you can see, I guess not surprisingly, uh, the highest timing so we've got 31 21 and 11 so 31 results in the highest um, rpm followed by 21 followed by 11 and then we have auto at approximately 11. this testing was done via a 3s lipo and a brother hobby r6 2205 we have rpm here and we have time here so I guess uh, not surprisingly, having set the timing to 11, it is basically behind in ramp up power, if you like, although, although that's a different setting. But if you like, in, in which one accelerates the quickest, the 11 or the lowest degree timing is, uh, well, is the slowest, but it's really not. I mean, they're pretty much the same but it achieves a lower RPM. You then have 31 degrees, which slightly falls behind the 21, but obviously the 31 results in quite a noticeably higher RPM. With the heavier weights, which I just did with 31 and 21 to see if uh, this intersection happened again, and it does. So 31 kind of came out and then 21 catches up slash passes it, but then ultimately 31 has the the greatest um, RPM. So from my point of view, uh, you get more RPM, not surprisingly, if you increase the, the timing, and that is a good thing. Uh, if you're short on RPM, uh, this should also increase power usage, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm talking about ultimate power. Uh, you have auto, Auto, as per the instruction, says it tries to keep the timing as low as possible on a good motor, which in this case it did. 
Uh, I have found on a poorer cheap motor uh, that this sometimes was quite different like it would um, come out low and then end up being high and I would think that with auto you would end up with potentially motors running at different RPMs and accelerating at different rates and I would think that that would be a bad thing because you'd want them to be in sync as much as possible uh, but that's how it is also, auto always had this little funny little where it went up and then kicked out. Uh, that did vary that amount, but that is pretty much what happened. So there you go. That's the timing. So you can say that 21 has the, the steepest curve up. Uh, however, I'd still use 31 because of the, uh, the less chance of DMAG, which is more important than anything else. Uh, and I would find the extra RPM relatively useful and there's not that much difference in and that's in a relevantly small time. Alright guys, we shall see you on the next one. Bye bye.